You're here to do a scan data analysis for an engine with starting problems. Connect to scan tool. Address any diagnostic codes, engine or transmission, that may relate to a starting problem. Select data stream. Our data here is in no particular order. But all the data must be checked for a no start condition. Ignition 1 signal should be within a half a volt of battery plus. If it isn't, go to ignition fuel control testing. Watch it during engine cranking to check and see if it goes below normal. Below normal is a half a volt lower than battery voltage during cranking. If it does that, go to ignition fuel control testing. Look at the TPS. It should be within specifications. If it isn't, check to see if the throttle has been adjusted incorrectly. If it has, make the proper adjustment. If the throttle is adjusted correctly and the TPS voltage isn't within specification, test it and its control circuits. The IEC doesn't have a hard specification. The PCM will command it to a position based on other inputs. As an example, on a hot restart, the counts will be lower than on a cold start. If you have reason to believe it isn't moving, go to IEC testing. The MAF sensor should be within specifications. If it isn't, test it and its circuits. Spark should be about zero degrees with the ignition in the run position. And then it should change to about 10 degrees with the engine cranking. If it doesn't, go to ignition fuel control testing. The crank sensor should have a no state with the ignition in the run position. It should change states to yes during engine cranking. If it, if it doesn't do that, go to ignition fuel control testing. The inje injector on time should be under 55 milliseconds. If not, Replace the PROM or go to PCM testing. The MAP sensor should be within specifications. If not, test the MAP and its circuits. The fuel pump relay command should be off when the ignition is in the run position. And switch to ON during engine cranking. If it doesn't, go to fuel pump testing. Vehicle theft deterrent should be inactive. If it isn't, make sure you have the right ignition key. If the key isn't a problem, the security system will have to be diagnosed. Fuel disabled should be inactive. If it isn't, make sure you have the right key. If you have the right key and it is active, the security system will have to be diagnosed. Engine speed should be zero with the ignition in the run position and begin to show RPM as the engine is cranked. If it doesn't, go to ignition fuel control testing. On this example vehicle, we have a 3x and an 18x signal. So the crank signal should be zero with the ignition in the run position and show RPM as the engine's cranked. If it doesn't, go to fuel and ignition control testing. It's normal for the engine speed, 3x and the 18 and the RPM, not to show the same RPM. It's very normal for them not to show the identical RPM. The ignition mode data bit should show bypass until the engine RPM is over 400 during cranking and then it should change to IC. If it doesn't, go to ignition fuel control testing. The crank and cam signal should be no with the ignition in the run position. If they, if they don't say no, go to ignition fuel control testing. Traction control should be inactive until the drive wheels begin to slip. So key on engine off, it should say inactive. If it isn't, check for transmission diagnostic trouble codes once again. If there are no codes, diagnose the traction controls.